question from Dr. Greenstark. I have recently learned about the NRF1 and NRF2 activators. Can Dr. Jaffe share his opinion on these activators? Well, yes, uh, the, the acronym is often pronounced NERF because that's what it would, if you just pronounced that acronym. Um, there are many, many intermediary molecules. There are many molecules that reflect balance or imbalance. NERF 1 and 2 are examples. Um, similarly, right now, the CB1 and CB2, similar receptors, modulators, are also uh, of great interest to many people. So the answer is these are modulating molecules that the body needs, that the body uses, and when the body is tolerant, when, it's, when the body has healthy digestion, metabolism, detoxification, there's a nice communion between modulating molecules like NERF, one and two, and other modulating molecules of which there are many. And so um, fortunately our understandings are getting deeper, but that means we come upon uh, acronyms or terms that in biological chemistry laboratories are well understood. But even most clinicians um, are not familiar with uh, the nuances. Um, and when I explain that there are modulating molecules in the body, it's kind of obvious that there should be. And NERF 1 and 2 are examples of molecules that help modulate or express uh, the uh, hormonal, neurochemical, uh, immune defense and repair governing system, as it's known in traditional Chinese medicine, the governing vessel. Um, and that's where the nerve system comes in. 